As the world comes to a critical curve due to COVID-19 pandemic and gradually moves to start reopening of schools, several states in Nigeria are following in that order. And as expected, the Lagos state government, which has literally been waiting on the wings, has also announced gradual reopening of schools. As you already know, this is coming well over five months after they were forced on the lock and key due to the outbreak of the coronavirus. The Daily Report is out here to see the level of compliance of schools over the non-pharmaceutical protocols and their readiness to welcome both the students, their parents and teachers. Indeed, how prepared are the people of Lagos Island for this, especially in the face of World Health Organization warning that certain things must be in place and what are the reactions of people living in this environment? It's a mixed feeling because you are not a uh so about their safety outside there, even at now. Uh, you know how adults, how they even protect themselves with the masks, nose masks. Some are not even feeling comfortable using the nose mask. So how about the children? How would they feel with the nose mask going to school with it? I feel safe. Yeah, yeah, I feel safe. Because if they are not resuming, um, we'll be moving from one place to the other, even if we are at home. So feel safe. Seven months is a whole lot. We have been at home, especially those of us in the private school, uh, without government uh, measures. The government did not include us in their measures. We have just been there trying to feed ourselves, and it was really a trying time for us. Yes, I was about doing the work down. I'm excited about school resumption because I have missed my school so much. I was films, I read my book, and I was doing home lesson. Wow, I feel excited. I'm very happy because my children have missed a lot. Due to this uh, coronavirus, many children have got uh, many women pregnant and all that and all that. And we feel happy that they are resuming on, at least it will even release some body on us as a parent. At least when they are at home, we'll be shouting, stay one place, do this and all that. Now they have resuming, at least their teacher will do the rest from where we stop, where we stop, they will continue from there. Sincerely speaking, social distance cannot thrive in this area because this place is crowded. It's crowded, so I don't think it, it can't, it can't thrive. Ah, that is the situation we found ourselves. Not only by school area, almost everywhere in Lagos, you can see the environment. Uh, almost everybody trading here, nobody's observing social distance. But knowing, number one thing is safety force, knowing that I have to protect myself as a person. Through this uh, lockdown, Lagos State uh, Governor Song Olu brought um, this um, television, uh, what they call it. So my children always watch it every Wednesday and Saturday and Sunday. They always do always um, this television sometime. They will bring um, all subjects, they will teach all the children there. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, my, my kids, they did the uh, online uh, school. They finished up, well, one of my younger girls, she finished a uh, nursery uh, class from, on the online uh, this thing, and uh, it was okay. <music> of people here the daily report finds that there are schools located in this environment how well can we now say social distancing can actually be encouraged in a situation like this bearing in mind that schools will be resuming and children will be exposed to this environment if we on your reporting <laughs>